Nanny Plum, I'd like some bread with my egg, please. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. We haven't any bread this morning. No bread? Then please magic some up. I can't magic up bread without flour. And we've run out of flour. Well, can't we order more flour from the elves? I have. But as usual, the elf truck is late. Nanny, the elf truck's here. <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Ollie. Food delivery. At last, Mr. Alf. King Thistle is waiting for his breakfast. Well, today we've got mushrooms, tomatoes, baked beans, and of course, eggs. That should make a splendid king's breakfast. Yes, yes, thank you, Mr. Alf. But the only thing I need today is flour. Flour? Yes, flour for making bread. The king wants bread. No problem. We'll pick up a bag of flour from the elf windmill. Thank you, Mr Elf. Let's see. We should be able to deliver it next week. Next week? But I need flour today. Ah, you know what they say? You can't rush the elf windmill. Hmm. Maybe I should visit this elf windmill. Of course, Nanny Plum. We can take you if you like. The windmill sounds fun. Can I come too? Of course. Hop aboard, Princess Holly. Hello, Ben. Hello, Holly. Hello, wise old elf. Ah, Nanny Plum. Hi there. Can I have a bag of flour, please? Certainly. We should have a bag of flour ready in a week. But I need it now. Ho, oh, ho. You know what they say. You can't rush the elf windmill. Why not? Ho, oh, ho. Don't you know how a windmill makes flour? Of course I do. Uh, Wise old elf, can you show us how it makes flour? Of course I can. Follow me. Now, can anyone tell me what this is? It's an elf. <laughs> no, no. What is the elf holding? It's wheat. Very good, Ben. And who knows what we do with wheat at the elf windmill? I know. We take the wheat and we... Uh, one moment, Ben. Let's give the fairies a chance to tell us. Um, is it for sweeping the floor? <laughs> no, no, no. We use the wheat to make the flour. First, we put the wheat in this funnel. The funnel separates out the parts we need. Come and see. This way, everyone. That doesn't look like flour. We haven't finished yet, Princess Holly. Look, the wind turns the sails. The sails turn the cogs. And the cogs turn the grindstone. The grindstone crushes the grains of wheat and out comes top quality elf flour. It's very slow. That's why it takes a week to make a bag of flour. Why can't it go faster? The mill goes at the speed of the wind. So, if we could make the wind go faster, the mill would go faster too. Oh, yes. But we can't make the wind go faster. I can. Oh, now, I'm not sure you should use magic. Oh, stop fussing. 
I'm always very careful when it comes to weather spells. Nanny, can I do the spell too? No, Princess Holly. You're much too young for dangerous weather spells. Oh. But you can watch me and see how it's done. Blow, winds, do your stuff with all your might. Puff, puff, puff! Ooh. There. What did I tell you? Um, well... The windmill's going faster and faster. You see, wise old elf? I know what I'm doing. That sounded like thunder. Did you do that, Nanny? Me? No. I didn't magic up thunder, just wind. Are you sure you haven't made a storm, Nanny? Yes. Well, wind, storm, hurricane, sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. Oh, we're making so much flour, we're running out of sacks. Nanny Plum, is this ghastly weather you're doing? Oh, stop fussing. It'll get better in a moment. It can't get any worse. going crazy. It's making too much flour. Run, run, run for your lives. Look how fast the sails are going. Too fast. The mill is out of control. It's filling up with flour. Isn't that what it's supposed to do? We have to slow the mill down. <sighs> All right. I'll just do some more magic to stop the wind. No, thank you, Nanny Plum. We've had quite enough of fairy magic. Now it's time for some elf skill. What's your plan, wise old elf? We simply lasso the sails and stop the windmill. Take hold of this rope, elves. Hello. Hello. Are you sure this is a good idea? We know what we're doing. Stand back, everyone. He's got it! Hooray! Well done, wise old elf. Told you it would work. <gasps> I hope they're OK. <gasps> Elves are never happy. Maybe you can stop the spell now, Nanny Plum. Ah! What did he say? Stop the wind. Oh, OK. All winds, away you go. Wise old elf, are you all right? Of course I'm all right. I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just get my bag of flour. Nanny Plum, I strongly advise you not to open that door. Oh, stop fussing. Hi, Ben. Ah, Mr. Elf. Could you deliver one bag of flour for Nanny Plum? She can have a whole truckload. I'll take it there right away. Hooray! <coughs> oh, thank you. That would be most kind. <coughs> I'm afraid I've got some bad news. What's that, darling? 
We've been invited to visit King and Queen Marigold this evening. Oh, dear. King and Queen Marigold are boring and snooty. They always make me feel like a country bumpkin. So why are we visiting them? Because they invited us. And I didn't know how to say no. I'm good at that sort of thing. Leave it with me. Hello. Queen Marigold, King Thistle here. I'm terribly sorry. But Queen Thistle and I can't come tonight. Oh, no. We were so looking forward to seeing you. Yes, yeah, sorry about that. But tonight we're going to, um, uh, a music concert. What kind of music? Ah, uh, um, elf music. Elf music? Oh, I don't believe I've heard of elf music. Oh, uh, yes. It's rather good, actually. Oh, King Marigold and I love good music. Ah, uh, I know. We'll come to you. Oh. See you tonight. Toodle pip. Oh. <coughs> Everything all right, darling? There's good news and bad news. What's the good news? We're not visiting King and Queen Marigold. Hooray! So, what's the bad news? They're coming to see us instead. Oh, no! And they're expecting a concert of elf music. What? And I've, um, told them that elf music sounds good. Oh, but the elf band sound terrible. They're the only elf music we've got. They're an embarrassment. They don't sound that bad. The last time they played, you said it was disgusting. Well, maybe they've got better. Nanny! Summon the elf band. Yes, Your Majesty. The elf band at your service, Your Majesty. <laughs> Wise old elf, we have some very important guests coming to visit. King and Queen Marigold. They are very boring and snooty. And they want to hear some elf music. Have you been practising? No, Your Majesty. You told us to never, ever play music again. I see. Well, you can play for us now. Oh, it would be an honour, Your Majesty. One, two, three, four. Oompa, 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 oompa. Interesting. That was awful. I thought it was good. You might like it, Holly. But I'm sure King and Queen Marigold will not. If I might make a suggestion, Your Majesty. What is it, Nanny Plum? Princess Holly could play her recorder for the guests. Yes, Nanny has been teaching me. And Holly has been practising. little tune. King and Queen Marigold would like that. There is one problem. You've promised elf music and Holly is not an elf. I could magic some elf ears for Holly. Ooh. <laughs> no, thank you, Nanny. I know. Nanny can teach the elf band how to play Holly's tune. Hooray! That's that sorted. See you later. Everybody on? Yes! Right ho, off we go. Your instruments don't just sound funny, they look funny too. They've got funny names as well. This is called a thrump warbler. <laughs> That's the spal throttle. <laughs> And this is the Blotto Horn! <laughs> Delightful! They all sound silly. <laughs> ah, 
That's because you don't have sensitive elf hearing. Oompa, 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 oompa. Right, enough of that. Princess Holly, could you remind us what your tune sounded like, please? I don't suppose you lot can read music. Well, I haven't seen this particular piece before. You played that perfectly. Perfect for you, maybe, but it's not elf music. Elf music has oompa oompa, like this. Oompa 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 oompa. Remember, you are playing for King and Queen Marigold, and they are very snooty. We like umpa music, but King and Queen Marigold don't. Quite. So play Holly's tune, please. <laughs> Uh, Holly, do the elf band sound any better? Yes, Daddy. They've been practising all day. OK. Let's hear them play. <laughs> oh. That's much better! Yes, it's charming. But I still don't think King and Queen Marigold will like it. Why, Mummy? King and Queen Marigold don't like country things. And the instruments sound so, uh, rough. I can fix that. How? I'll just use magic to make the instruments sound more normal. Play me a tune, Mr Elf. <laughs> Fantastic! That sounds exactly the sort of music King and Queen Marigold would like. Problem solved. King and Queen Marigold. How delightful to see your little kingdom again, Queen Thistle. It's always such a pleasure to experience your simple country life here. We can't wait to hear some genuine... Elf music. <laughs> oh, yes. You must hear it. Oh, King Thistle, you didn't tell me you were a conductor. I take a special interest in the sound of this band. I must say, this is not at all what I expected elf music to sound like. They have been practising very hard. These elves play well, but the tune is a little old-fashioned. And their instruments sound very ordinary. I assumed elf music would be more folksy. What's that? <laughs> oh, I say! <laughs> What's that? <laughs> <laughs> A fantastic performance! So exciting! A triumph, King Thistle! Have you ever considered teaching music? Ah, well, uh... Let's dance! Lovely day for a royal fairy picnic. Nanny Plum, get
get the magic picnic basket ready. Uh, I can't, Your Majesty. Why not? The magic picnic basket has disappeared. You mean you lost it? Things don't just disappear. Whoa! Where's my chair gone? Nanny, I can't find my wand. There. One piano to deliver to the king. Ben, are you ready? Coming, Dad. Come on, Ben. We've got this piano to deliver to the little castle. I don't want to be late. That's right, Ben. Elves are never late. And, and we're, we're elves. elves. Oh, where's my horn? Ben, you must look after your things. A good elf never loses their things. Oh, where's my piano gone? What's happening? Oi! That's our TV! Why are the ants taking all our stuff? I don't know! Ants! Outrageous! Nanny Plum, do something! OK, let's follow them. Where are the ants taking our things? Probably to the Queen Ant. Queen Ant? Is she pretty like Mummy? Uh... Does she have lovely dresses and a sparkly crown? No. The Queen Ant is a different sort of queen. Oh. There's my horn! <laughs> There's my wand! The ants are taking all our things. Yes, and ours too. Where are they taking it? Down to the Queen Ant. Nanny, I command you to have a word with this Queen Ant. What word would that be, Your Majesty? Uh, tell her to stop taking our stuff. I would, Your Majesty, but I can't speak ant. It's one of the more difficult insect languages, along with centipede. What we need is someone who can speak ant. Gaston! Ah, oh, good. Ladybirds can speak ant. <laughs> Phew! <laughs> so Gaston can be your ant translator. <laughs> Down you go, Nanny. Can Ben and I go too? Yes, but stay close to Nanny Plum so she can keep you safe. Hooray! I'll go too, to keep Nanny Plum safe. And I'll go, too, to keep Mr Elf safe. Ah, these tunnels could go very deep, you know. How deep? Do they go to the centre of the earth? I hope not. My feet are tired enough already. Ooh! This way! It would be very easy to get lost in these tunnels. It's a maze. I hope we remember how to get out. Don't worry. I know how to get through mazes. You take every first turning down and every third turning up. And that gets you through any maze. Oh, it's a dead end. Or is it every second turn to the left? Oh, are we lost, Mr Elf? Um... What's that sound? <laughs> ants! <laughs> That's lucky. They can show us where the Queen Ant is. Gaston, say, take us to your leader. <laughs> what did they say? <laughs> Gaston says the ants will give us a lift. Cool! cool. Yeehaw! Giddy up, giddy up! This must be where the Queen Ant lives. Ooh! Oh! 
Is that the queen? Uh, yes. She's, um, big, isn't she? Hmm. Gaston, can you translate for us, please? <coughs> Greetings, your aunt's nurse. I am Nanny Plum. And I'm Holly. I'm a pretty fairy princess. I'm Mr. Elf. I'm Mrs. Elf. And I'm Ben Elf. <laughs> We're elves. Uh, and you've got my horn. And there's my wand. There's the king's piano. And our TV. And my magic picnic basket. Gaston, ask if we can have our stuff back. <laughs> I think that means no. Why won't you let us have our stuff back, Nanny? Ugh, goodness knows. What do you want all this stuff for? <laughs> she says it's for eating, even though it tastes horrible. Why is she eating it if it tastes horrible? This isn't food, you know. <laughs> Queen Ant says they used to collect food left over from big people's picnics. <coughs> but the big people haven't had a picnic for ages. <coughs> so the ants have to eat any old rubbish they can find. That's not rubbish. It's a fine musical instrument. I'm delivering it to the Ooh. king. It's not good to eat musical instruments. Yes, Ben. She's obviously very stupid. <laughs> Gaston, don't translate that. Uh, when I said you are very stupid, I meant you are very clever. <laughs> uh, she doesn't seem very pleased. If you want food, I can make some with my magic picnic basket. What would you like to eat? <coughs> she likes sweet things. What kind of sweet things? <coughs> jelly? Oh, I can do jelly. Careful, Nanny Plum. We don't want a jelly flood. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly, but not a lot. Do you want more? <laughs> no problem. Careful, Nanny Plum. Oh, Mr Elf, stop fussing. Jelly, jelly, a little bit more. <laughs> Nanny, they all want jelly. Goodness me, we'll be here all day. I just have to make a lot more. No! Plum. Plum. More, more, more! Whoa! Oh, jelly Plum! Plum. Oh. The jelly is showing us the way out! Whoa. 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 Jelly Plum! Oh. I can hear something. What's that? Jelly Plum! What are they shouting? Jerry Fudd? What? Jerry Fudd? Jerry Flood! <gasps> Jerry Flood! <laughs> I've got my horn back. I've got my wand back. And the ants have got all the jelly they can eat. <laughs> The piano's taken a bit of a bashing. Oh, oh, I'm glad that's not my piano. Actually, Your Majesty, it is your piano. I was just delivering it to you. Oh. It's okay, Daddy. It sounds lovely. As long as you only play tunes with high notes. 